Kitty, what is it? Is something wrong? I need to go to hospital for a few days. Kitty. I have uh, some kind of growth in my uterus and I'm just gonna go in and take a look. When? Well, this afternoon and I need you to feed the dog. Yeah, of course. Is that what you came here to ask? What did the doctors say exactly? That's probably what the trouble's been about getting pregnant. I mean, the thing is, I've been very happy with Ray, and now there's a reason. There's a reason I couldn't conceive. Oh, Laura, you're so lucky. I don't think you can call yourself a woman until you're a mother. Well, the joke is, I said all my life I could do everything. Anything, really. Except the one thing I wanted. Well, you know what? At least now they're going to be able to deal with it. Well, that's it, that's right. I'm not worried. I mean, what's the point in worrying? It's not in your hands. Well, that's it. It's, it's in the hands of some physician I've never met, some surgeon who probably drinks more martinis than Ray. Kitty. And then, of course, I'm worried about Ray. Yeah, come here. No, I'm fine, really. I know. Really, I'm fine. I it's know you are. I'm worried about Ray more than anything. He's not good with this stuff. Let's forget about Ray. Can you hear me? The tree is crushing him. He, he can't breathe. RMB 2122. Hurry, he can't breathe. Hey. You're right, baby. I'll go get the tap in the car. I'm so sorry. Anything. You called. Come here, girl, girl. Hello, girl, boy. Look after our boy. Don't you talk like that, Alex? Do you hear me? I heard you. Yeah, well, this isn't gonna make it. Yes, it is. It's coming. It's coming, and the girls, the girls are gonna be here really soon. I'm glad it's me. Not you and the bub. You love him, that's all he needs. Don't, don't let yourself be alone. Understand? I'm glad I met you, Abby Hall. I'm so glad I met you, Alex Ryan. I love you. Forever. I love you, I love you, I love you. Alex, please stay with me. I'll be with you, <laughs> No, no, Alex, open your eyes for me, Alex. Alex, come on, please stay with me, Alex. Open your eyes. Help! Please, anybody help me. Alex, come on, just open your eyes for me, okay? Alex, come on, just open your eyes. I just thought that 
we're both getting older and maybe it's about time we start acting like grown-ups. A little bit. Oh. No, it, it's a great watch. It's just going to take me a, a little, little bit of time to get used to it, that's all. And how was the chicken? It was perfect, thank you. Excellent. Else we've been together for three and a half years. And I like you. I like you a lot. <laughs> I'm glad. Else I think you know how I feel about you. So... Would you do me the honour of accepting this commitment ring? I'm sorry, accept your what? Commitment ring. It's a sign of my commitment to you. To us. Don't you like it? No, it's just... A commitment ring, Jim. What are we, going steady? For a second there, I thought you were going to propose. Propose what? Marriage. Marriage. That's a big step. Yes, it is. It's a big commitment. The 18-year-old temp at our office just got engaged to a guy she's been seeing for three months. That has nothing to do with us. What are your plans? I thought we'd get dessert. No, Jim. Not for dinner. For our life, for us. Why do we have to have plans? Because I came back to Australia for a month, three and a half years ago. So, where are we going? My treat. Where are we going? My holiday surprise, my room. Where are we going? <laughs> New York. <laughs> New York. <sighs> you angel. You did remember to pack my passport. Of course. It's with my passport. Yeah, and where's that? Somewhere you can't find it. No one sees my passport picture. When we get on the plane, we've been together four years. What about the gap? You mean child separation? Didn't work out. Happy anniversary. Hello, Professor Fleming died last week. We're throwing him awake. And you and this Fleming were uh... No. Sorry, it's just you're putting posters of him up in your hallway. You can see where I get the impression that he was a little more than a well, teacher. he was more than a teacher. He was a great writer and an inspiration of many other things you couldn't possibly understand. You don't like me. You don't know me, but you don't like me. I know you. You do. We met yesterday. With Marty. Marty? Yes, my friend Marty, he bartended for you. Right, sorry, of course, it slipped my mind. Of course I met you yesterday with Marty. It's good to see you again. Rory! Good to see you again, Rory. You're looking well. Anger works for you. I'm not angry, I'm just irritated. By me? Yes. Because I forgot for a moment who you were. No, because you speak to people like they're beneath you. Do you know what I do? This is bullshit. Do you know what I do? Now listen to this, dick fuck. What I do all day. I fuck men. I hate. What are you going to do about it? Okay. That's it. No more escorts. No more brothels. We're going away. You don't understand, do you? What if I want to keep using? I hate working, but what if I want to keep using? What are you going to do about it? We need to talk, Will. What about? You know what about. Can't I wait till we finish this job? When's that? A week? Two weeks? We need to make a plan of action now. You know my plan of action. To do nothing. That's right. Damn it, Will. Matesy had me locked in his office for five hours yesterday. Five hours. He's asking all kinds of questions. He's asking everybody questions. Yeah, but he's zeroing in on us. Everyone's talking about it. He's just rattling your cage. I've got to tell you, with a wife and two kids and a promotion in the balance, it's rattling hard. We say nothing, it goes away. Simple as that. We have tampered with evidence. 
We've pushed witnesses. We've even planted shit. And now they're sniffing around like dogs. Especially on the Dobbs case. Weston Dobbs murdered an eight-year-old boy and left him hanging in the shed like a piece of meat. You remember that?